these are some problems from the worksheet that we did in class from section 7.4. I wanted to make sure that we ran through some of the problems that involve tangent or secant substitutions since we didn't get to that in class on Thursday. In the uh, example here, we see a 1 plus x squared in the denominator under the square root sign. And so um, we know that the um, identity 1 plus tangent squared t equals secant squared of t may be helpful in this situation. So we make the substitution. Let's change x to be tangent of t. And if we do that, then to complete the substitution, we'll have to have dx be the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared of t dt. So with those two things, I can change under the square root sign, the 1 plus x squared will be 1 plus tangent squared of t. The x cubed in the top will be tangent cubed. And the dx that's here will change into secant squared t dt. So this is the substitution. It's very easy to make the substitution because we just read off every x will have this happen and the dx will have this happen. But now we have to use um, our trig identities to simplify this further. Because 1 plus tangent squared equals secant squared, I know that under the square root sign here is secant squared. So here I'll have the square root of secant squared. So that will simplify in the denominator to just be secant of t. Everything else remains unchanged. Now I can cancel the secant t down here with one of these two secants in the secant squared. And so completely simplified and completely in terms of t, my integral is tangent t, sorry, tangent cubed t times secant t dt. Um, this integral, um, it does fall into our um, into one of the um, categories that we had, namely that the secant here is to an odd power. So we have a secant to an odd power, and there's a tangent in the problem like there is here. Then we can, let me just ignore all this stuff. Then we can rewrite this as tangent squared t times tangent t secant t dt. I, the reason I do that is because all of this stuff, this is the derivative of secant of t. So if I can make the substitution um, u equals secant t, then uh, du will be exactly, exactly this. And the reason that the substitution of u equals secant t will work is because this part, I can write this part in terms of, um, in terms of secant, again, because of this identity that I have up here. So ultimately, I'll have this first part in terms of secant. And then I'll have tangent t, secant t, dt. So under the substitution, u equals secant t, du equal secant t, tangent t, dt. This integral will turn into the integral of 1 plus u squared du. And of course, that's just u plus one third u cubed plus a constant. So the tricky part here is getting this all plugged back in. We would like our answer to be back in terms of x, but I've now made two substitutions. And so I'm pretty far away from, from being in terms of x. So let's do the first thing first, because that's easy. Um, we know that u is secant t 
So we have secant t plus one third secant cubed of t plus a constant. Um, but again, I'd like my answer to be back in terms of x. And my original uh, choice of x was way up here, that x equals tangent of t. So this is where drawing my right triangle will be helpful. The original substitution that I have up there says that x is tangent of t. Well, we know that tangent is opposite over adjacent, and so this, this right triangle at the bottom here, this right triangle exemplifies x equals tangent of t. Once I have this right triangle, I can add the third side. The third side here is one uh, squared one plus x squared. And so it's easy to read off what the secant of t is in that case. Remember the secant is the inverse of the cosine, and cosine of t is adjacent over hypotenuse. So secant will be hypotenuse over adjacent. So we will have one plus x squared, that's the secant of t reading off from the triangle, plus one third times secant of t again cubed. So this is the final answer for the example problem at the top.